We have a fantastic vent, but we run into a couple problems. Uh, first of all, when it rains, the vent will close. And if we're cooking or something like that, it makes it really difficult if we can't have our vent open during the rain. The best solution for this is to install the fantastic Ultra Breeze vent cover. We're going to put one on today and this video will walk through the process of how to do it. The only tools you need for this project, a number two Phillips screwdriver. Um, I'm using a pocket knife, but something to scrape away the current lap sealant around the vent and a caulking gun. We're also using Dicor's self-leveling lap sealant. It's the 501. It's also what's recommended by Fantastic Vent. So the first real step is installing the grill on your Fantastic Vent cover. There's a little tab here. It aligns up with a hole there. Slide that in. It connects and then there are two push pins. They go on either side. And that's that. The next step is to cut away the lap sealant that's currently around the roof just to expose the um, screws that are in here. This is very easy to do. I'm using a simple pocket knife, but you can use just about anything. I just be careful if you're using a knife around your rubber roof. If for some reason you can't see the screws, simply rub your finger along and you'll notice it makes an indentation in the rubber. There are four screws total, two and two. Now with the number two Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws. Here are the brackets that are used to mount the cover. What I'm doing now is just going around and checking to make sure I removed enough of the uh, current sealant on there, and if not, I'm gonna cut away some extra. Now we're gonna apply the lap sealant. You wanna squirt it into the screw holes and across the area that you just removed. So this is a screw that comes with the kit. The only problem I think I'm going to have is trying to find that hole. Oh, there it is. Apply some sealant around, in and around the screw. Now I'm just going to go around and add a little bit of extra sealant around all the seals. The next step, align these holes with these pins. There's a cotter pin that goes through each one. Before I try to line up the vent, I'm going to make sure that all of these holes are facing in the correct direction, this way. And there is also adjustment in each one, so you can move them back and forth if needed. When you install this, make sure the grill is facing towards the back of the coach. I'm also lining up the front of the grill. It sits right on top of the sealant, so you kind of have to move things around to make sure it fits correctly. Now we add a washer and our cotter pin. So that's it. In all, this took me about half an hour. Uh, the reason it took me so long is at the first pass, I didn't cut away enough sealant. So I would suggest grabbing the brackets, placing them down, just marking around the bracket and cut away most of that uh, sealant and you should be good to go and be able to do this much quicker than I did. 